31 degrees. We had some frost today. We are 18 degrees warmer than the same time yesterday. 22 degrees warmer in Lima. And check out Muncie and Lafayette. They're 29 degrees warmer with Terre Haute at 32 degrees warmer. So the kids heading out to the bus stop probably still want to have a light jacket. We're in the 50s. We'll be near 53. Couldn't rule out a spotty shower. It's a day to take along the umbrella. Coming home from school, we'll have some scattered showers and even the chance for some rumbles of thunder. Our highs get into the mid 60s, so a nice mild afternoon. And again, it's not going to rain all day. We're going to have breaks of dry weather. Right now up in Mercer County, there's a decent shower just to the west of Rockford, so that'll be moving in. You'll see some rain increase in intensity. Could drop visibility just a bit there along 707. And as we zoom out, you can see the rest of the area is fairly quiet. Maybe some sprinkles coming through. Uh, but this whole system will be impacting us today. This cold front will slowly make its way towards us, increasing rain chances for the afternoon. It's going to stall just south of the area tonight and then lift back north tomorrow. So kind of getting into an active pattern once again. And temperatures are generally going to stay above normal through the first part of the week and then come down closer to normal at the end of the week. So today, tomorrow, we'll be in the 60s. Wednesday will likely be the warmest day ahead of a stronger cold front. We're up to 73. And then we see temperatures come down close to normal for Thursday, Friday, and on into the weekend. And then even next week, beyond that, we see temperatures dropping back below normal. There could be a few days in a row with highs only in the 50s. So here's Future Track timing out some of the rain for us. Early morning, not a whole lot of coverage. As we head towards mid morning, we may see an increase, especially across the southern half of the Miami Valley. And then a break possibly around lunchtime, but additional showers and even thunderstorms get going as that cold front approaches by late day. So these will impact the drive home again, some lower visibility in some of those heavier downpours overnight. Still a very good chance for showers, thunderstorms through 11 o'clock midnight. And then we should get back to drier conditions as the front moves south of us for tomorrow morning. So a little sunshine breaks out through the day Tuesday. A uh, very slight chance we may see a shower in the afternoon, but otherwise we'll just become partly sunny through the day. Now getting into Wednesday, a stronger cold front will be heading in and there's an increased severe weather threat. To our west, there's an enhanced threat in portions of Indiana, Illinois, and here in the Miami Valley, we have a slight risk. The main thing that we will be watching will be the potential for winds over 60 miles per hour. So stay tuned to that forecast as we head into the middle part of the week. Here's your forecast today. Scat scattered showers, chance of thunder, windy and mild. High of 65 today, winds gust to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, a few showers and storms, mostly cloudy and cool with a low of 49. And tomorrow, partly sunny, just a slight shower chance. We'll have highs tomorrow up to 68. 73 Wednesday, a good chance of showers and thunderstorms, which will linger into the nighttime. And even early Thursday morning, we couldn't rule out a shower. Otherwise, mostly dry weather is expected Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And Sunday's looking good, too. Highs over the weekend in the low 60s.